So 12.6 is about locus, and locus is all the points that satisfy a condition, okay, or conditions, okay? So, um, the first one that we want to talk about is in a plane, okay? So, when we think about these, these are going to be two-dimensional, right, because they're going to be in a plane. So, it wants us to sketch and describe what um, would happen for each of the conditions. So the first condition is the points that are one centimeter from point C, okay? So if we looked at that, what would be the points that would each be one centimeter from point C in every direction? What would that look like if everything were one centimeter from point C? What figure would that be? Yeah, that's gonna be a circle, okay? So for this one, you'd want to draw your radii or radius of one centimeter, and then you'd want to put a circle around it. And all the points that satisfy that condition, right, would be a circle, right? Okay. Now if you look at the second condition, this one asks what um, points or what are the points that would be one centimeter from the line segment AB. So does this line continue forever and ever or does it stop? It stops right here. We're just talking about the portion between A and B. So if we wanted to think about the things that would be one centimeter from A and B, what would that be? be one centimeter up here, one centimeter down, yeah? And then what would we see? When we got here to the end, what would it be? What would it look like when we got to the end? Yeah, it would be like a semicircle when we got to the end. So what we would have would be something that looked like a rectangle, right? It would look like a rectangle here, right? So we got to the end, but then would be capped off at each end by what? Yeah, a semicircle, okay? So each end would have this half circle here and here. So it looked kind of like a hot dog, right? And again, this would be two-dimensional, right? And where would the points be that satisfied this condition? Where would they fall? Yeah, they the, the points that satisfy this condition would be all along here, right? along the outside. Yeah? Okay. Now, the next example talks about the points that satisfy two conditions, right? So when we do that, we have to look at the conditions independently and then find the points that satisfy both conditions, okay? So the first one asks us, what are the points that are equidistant from the intersecting lines K and M? Okay, what would, the, what would the points look like? Where would they be if they were equidistant? Okay, they'd be halfway between right here, right? And they'd be where? Halfway between right there, right? So that would be equidistant between the intersecting lines K and M. Okay, then the second condition says that or asks that the points are five centimeters from the point where K and M intersect, okay? So right here where K and M intersect, what's going to be five centimeters from that? All the way around. It's going to be another circle, right? So in this case, we'd say, okay, well, now we need a circle that's going to be five centimeters. So you would measure whatever five centimeters, right? And you put the center of the circle right there on the center of the intersection, right? Okay, so where are the points then that satisfy both conditions? Yeah, it's got to be here where it falls both on the circle, right, that's going to be five centimeters, right, and 
equal distance between what? K and M. Yeah? Any questions so far? Great. Okay. Now, this one's going to be just a little bit different because notice before we were talking about in a plane. Now, what are we talking about? In space. Okay, so are these two-dimensional? These are going to be what? 3D, right? So, now we're still going to start with that point, right, that we started with before. We started with point C. And, okay, I thought we were going to start with point C. <laughs> so, we're going to start with the point, right? Okay. It's not letting me put the point. Maybe I'll just draw one. We're going to start with the point, right? But this is going to be point D. And we want to know three-dimensional, what is it going to be? Okay. Something that is C units, whatever C is, from that point in all directions. It's going to be a sphere. Yes, absolutely. Okay. So instead of just being a circle, this one's actually going to be three-dimensional. Okay, which I absolutely cannot draw. Okay, so how would you represent a sphere? Yeah, well, a lot of times we do this kind of like Saturn looking thing to mean that it goes in all directions, but you guys probably have a better picture. Yeah? Yeah? Okay, now what are we talking about here? Now we want to know the locus of points or the collection of points in space that are three centimeters from line L. Okay, so if we start with a line, okay, we want line L. We want to make sure that we get it three centimeters in every direction from line L. Okay, is that the same as what we did the first time or is it different? It's different. Why? Yeah. For the segment, it ended, right? So we continued to go around at the ends, okay? This line is not going to end, is it? No, okay? So what is it going to look like? What is it going to look like? Look, it's a cylinder. That's exactly what it is, okay? And it's a cylinder that has what? Yeah, it has no top and no bottom, right? So it would be like an open cylinder. Does that make sense? So you would draw kind of like a cylinder here, right, down each side, but then you would say there's no top, okay, and no bottom, right, to the cylinder, and it would continue on. Yeah? And what is the key that lets us know whether it's 3D or whether it's 2D? In space or in a plane, yes. Okay? So there's a couple of different ones for you guys to try. I would say definitely do the four in the lesson check because those are the basic ones. And then I would do, you know, three or four from the practice just to make sure that you have a good concept of what's going on. But this is more of a visual conceptual thing just so that you kind of understand dimensionally what, what things are going to look like. Okay. How about in a plane if you had a line and you wanted something that was going to be a centimeter in, from this line? What would it be? Yeah, it would just be two more parallel lines, one that was this way and one that was this way, right? Because this would be in a what? In a plane, yeah. Okay, what do you think? You think you can do it? Okay, okay so that is the locus.